Drones. They are everywhere. While most are used for recreational hobbies, drones are beginning to find professional uses in agriculture, construction, emergency services, environmental monitoring, and could one day deliver a pizza to your home. Whatever their use, all drones require some form of navigation, and in most cases, need to send back real-time video data to their operators. However, this is costly, and fast wireless data is expensive. What if it didn't have to be? Using a new computer vision technique, combining structure for motion and planar homography transforms, we propose an algorithm capable of transforming urban environments into living 3D virtual models that can be transmitted in place of real-time video for a fraction of the cost. Our preliminary research shows that we are able to create simplified 3D models of buildings that are a tenth the size of the original video, with the aim to send only the 3D model in the place of the video to capture those savings. However, in its current state, it is only designed to detect and reproject vertical walls in a scene. Even still, with this limitation, detail is not lost in the final reconstruction. Here is a generalized outline of our structure for motion variant with the steps required to turn video frames from a single camera into a 3D model. First, a set of images or video frames are collected of the object from different angles. In our experiment, this is done by a small virtual drone flying around a central object at a constant altitude. Then we use a process known as feature detection to identify important points in the image and match those with other images. To make some of the later calculations easier, we also transform the images in 3D space so that all features line up with the same row of pixels. From the row aligned features, we triangulate those matches and create a 3D point cloud called a sparse reconstruction. With this, we now have the general size and shape of the structure. Everything up to this point has been done previously by other research on structure from motion. So this is where our algorithm deviates significantly. Normally, the 3D points are considered as a whole where each point is connected to its neighbor to create a complex mesh. Instead, we approximate the geometry of the scene with large generalized planes. A plane can be defined by any three points in space and drawing a triangle between them. We can then expand the borders of this triangle infinitely in all directions to create a plane. To find planes within each feature matching set, our algorithm randomly picks three starting points and counts how many points fit along that plane. We repeat this process many times, and the plane that contains the most points within it is considered the dominant plane. Next, we need to create a texture to apply to that plane. First, we map the same dominant plane to the original image. Then, using a process called homography transformation, our algorithm warps the image such that the dominant plane is now entirely flat with the viewer's perspective. From here, we crop the image and apply it as a texture for the dominant plane. As the algorithm iterates through each match in real time, a textured plane is rendered in the virtual world. For instances where two planes might conflict with each other, the algorithm dynamically adjusts the final reconstruction, choosing the plane which again has the most detected points that lie within it. We collected data on three different models as part of our experiment with each one representing different conditions the algorithm might perform under. We also compared our algorithm's 3D reconstruction with that of traditional structure for motion reconstructions. The first model represents an environment in which a single detached building is present in the landscape. The results of this experiment were extremely favorable, performing the task in 7 seconds, which is 40 times faster than traditional structure for motion. The model also only requires less than 3 megabytes of storage versus the 178 megabytes to store the original 4K images. The next model represents a complex city block with many buildings positioned close together. Results were similar to the tall building, but this model outlined an issue with how the planes are represented. This could be fixed by implementing a better algorithm to cut the sides of the building from the background. The last model characterizes how the algorithm performs when images are collected near ground level. It's notable here that the traditional algorithm performed much worse than expected, whereas our proposed variant handled the situation with ease. All in all, the algorithm performed significantly better in terms of speed over that of traditional structure for motion, while also creating a 3D model that was significantly smaller than the original imagery. In conclusion, our proposed method is a step forward for real-time structure for motion. There are many potential applications for a real-time image processing solution like this, and could make autonomous vision-based navigation possible by completely replacing a traditional live video feed. 
The 3D reconstruction comes with the added benefit of being able to generate a spatially accurate representation of a live environment that is accurate enough to generate GPS coordinates from a specific window of a building. While this is only a proof of concept, the new computer vision variants could be very useful in the future to aid in navigation of drones, either autonomously or with the guidance of a human operator. To learn more about this research, please click the link to our paper in the description below.